are going to begin by doing this orangey pink flower. All you need are your fingers. You can see mine are all messed up already. Your fingers will get dirty. Make sure you have some tissues nearby. Okay, here we go. Start with orange. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. You can move them around if you want or not. This is a very free type of art. Okay, next, take a little bit of pink. Okay, and I'd probably take just a little bit off, start it in the middle, flap it down. You could actually stop right there if you want. Bloop. But I'm gonna continue going. Okay, wipe your finger off and do a light color. Let's do like this light yellow. Start here this time. A little bit too much for me. You do it however you want. That's it. Let it dry. So this one is going to look like this. Same thing. We're going to take that ultra fine Sharpie. And we're going to go around. You don't have to be careful. You can be kind of sloppy because you want real free lines. Go around around three times. put a stem okay, then in the center here let's make some of those lines a little darker if you want to you can make a circle but I like to just scribble it okay then you take your marker the big thick one. And the reason we do the thick one is it gives it a little bit of dimension. In art, there's this thing called the art elements and the art elements, um, one of them is variety and variety gives art a pleasing look. So we like to add a little bit of variety to our art. And if you want, you can have a few lines going up here into your flower. 